So I bought a Starline Tours Celebrity Home Tour. This should take about two hours and the ticket costs 50 bucks. Let's uh, hop on and enjoy. Hopefully I get a window seat. All right. Guess I'll sit over here. So this tour does not uh, stop. We just stay in the car the whole time. Should start very shortly. Some people say these celebrity home tours are a rip-off, but we'll see if it is or not. I mean, they do take you around for two hours for 50 bucks, so... Seems like a fairly small vehicle. It's cool in here, the seats are comfortable. Spider-Man there posing with pictures. It's 1.30 p.m. about and by the time this finishes it should be about 3.30. <laughs> Spider-Man's having fun there. That's the TMZ tour. That one goes into like the uh, the shock celebrity stories. Everybody. My, my name is Alan. I'll be your tour guide in the next couple of hours. We have a good time today. Everybody want to put seatbelts on so you're safe. Oh, let's do that. Seatbelts work. <laughs> that would help. Also, we have the uh, cell phone. Is it on? Got it. Yeah. Sometimes I have to put it back in and then we wrap it. Try to push it back in there. Further? Anyway, if you have a uh, cell phone, I ask to silence your phone. If you get a call, please don't answer your phone. Run a tour. No one wants to hear anyone else's conversations. So let it go to voicemail. And if the sound is down on the ringer, you don't have to hear that either. So two hours is great work. All right, my seatbelt is on. I'm from Hollywood, California, born and raised right here. I'm going to find out where you're all visiting from today. Where are you guys visiting from over here? South Carolina, South Carolina? Okay. How about you guys over here? From where? Jordan? Wow, we don't get very many Jordanians.
clean it for it. It's cooler here though, right? Okay. <laughs> and what do you guys do? They're with you? Okay. You're by yourself? New York City. New York yep. City, very good. How about you guys back here? San Francisco. Over there? Niagara Falls here. Oh, where? Niagara Falls? I've been there. Slowly I turn it step by step. How about the back where we guys visit from? From where? The H. <laughs> from the H. Houston. St. Louis. St. Louis. Ah. Here? LA. LA. <laughs> Here we are. LA, California. Look across the street. That's what Jimmy Kimmel Live is taped. Looks like they're doing uh, some kind of a shtick that they're um, taping over here. Some kids at a microphone. I don't know what they're doing. Probably be on the show tonight. That's what Jimmy Kimmel Live is taped later on today. And you're standing right in front of, since we're right in front of it, let me get a picture here, of the Dolby Theater. This is what the Dolby Theater looks like in the day of the Academy Awards. Looking at it here like it does most days. Normally not much happening there today. Looks like it does every other day in there. On the Sunday of the Academy Awards, it is set up. It takes a week to do this. Like this. Wow. This is where the red carpet ceremony takes place. You've seen it on TV before, right? A lot of fun. The biggest entertainment event in LA every single year, at least Hollywood. So normally I would show that as a party, but no need, you're right here. Ready to get out of here, guys? Let's do it. All right, yeah, my name is Alan from Hollywood. You guys sit back and join us. Let's go have a good time. We're going to end the tour, right. not here, because it takes a while to get back around the block. We're going to end the tour just a half a block north of Hollywood Boulevard. We'll show you what that is as we take off the tour, okay? Okay.
I know you feel kind of warm. It's very hot today, upper 80s. And the hottest part of the tour is right where we started in Hollywood. It'll be a little bit less hot as we drive around here. So we're going to have some traffic right at the beginning of the tour. It'll look a lot worse than it actually is. We'll bust out of it. One of us is the Magic Castle. You'll be on your left after you make a turn. The Magic Castle is a private magic club. It opened up in 1963. And to see a performance of magicians inside the Magic Castle, you have to be invited by one of their members. So the biggest trick is getting inside the Magic Castle. How many people are here for the first time? First time visitors? A lot of first time visitors. Everyone treating you okay? Yeah. We're fairly nice people. How many people have gotten fully vaccinated? Wow, not many on this photo. Not that many people. You want to keep those masks on there. Yeah, we don't want to get Mr. COVID and end up in a hospital on a ventilator. Look. It's taking us a little bit longer than I thought to make our return, but we'll make our turn here shortly. on a sightseeing tour with celebrity homes, former homes, neighborhoods all tossed in, but more than that, there's a lot of information and many things I'll point out for you. Right now we're in Hollywood, in a few minutes we will be up on top of the mountains on Mulholland Drive and the Hollywood Hills. We'll see Beverly Hills later on, you'll see all kinds of
vehicle. So you don't want to hang your arms out of the vehicle, keep your elbows on the rail. You don't extend your arms because it's wide enough as it is. You extend your arms. Sometimes we go on narrow streets. Or if you hit a bush, you have to drive along, you get injured. Or a car can hit your arm and that you can work. Also, when we're moving, do not stand up. Use your footing, that would be bad too. Slow start now.
the right side, a little, little flush action here. Can you guys see it in the back? There you go, the Hollywood sign. You're not allowed, not allowed to go hiking up there. It's considered trespassing, so don't even think about doing it. I grew up in Hollywood, born and raised here, and I would hike up there on occasion, but you're not really supposed to do that. <laughs> Here's a picture of the original Hollywood land sign. This is the original sign, 13 letters across. And it was promoting the Hollywood land community development. So it was 13 letters across. He eventually changed in 1949, shortened to read Hollywood, and then again in 1978, and that's the version you're seeing right now. In 2017, Someone went up there and changed the letters, the last two O's, to ease to the body weed. So they went up there. This is a real picture, not Photoshop. Taken from the LA Times website. The authorities saw what happened overnight, January the 1st, 2017. So they sent a team up there and changed the ease back to O's again. That was to celebrate the new California marijuana laws taking effect that day. Watch out for those trees there. Um, again, don't go hiking up there. It is custom. British action star Jason Statham. You know who he is? Jason Statham from the Transporter films, The Italian Job, The Fast and the Furious movies. He was in a movie with The Rock called Hobbs and Shaw a few years ago. Bald dude, three day beard, always plays a driver or a hitman in his film. Jason Statham. Chargers football team. It's very hard to see. It's in the distance to your left. 
There's a uh, there's two bushes to your left and a palm tree in the middle in the back. Then there's a hill behind the palm tree. And if you look to the right of the peak of that hill, you'll see a flat, not flat, but a rolled over white roof. You see it back there? And that is SoFi Stadium. Five billion bucks. It's going to host the Super Bowl next February. And it'll also have the uh, opening and closing ceremonies to the 2028 Summer Olympics here in Los Angeles. On your left, you can see downtown LA behind us. We're about six or seven miles away. So it's a bit foggy and hazy. It's not a super clear, perfect day, but you can still, still see the downtown skyline in the background. We have to go to uh, Mala Land and grab a souvenir postcard with a better picture. telephone poles on your left side. Red Spanish tile roof, two white chimneys coming up, sold by Katy Perry. Oh, wow. Katy Perry, singer from Santa Barbara, about 100 miles north of here. Did live there for a while. Then she moved away, sold the house to a restaurateur named Mr. Chow. That home was sold to him, and now who is Katy Perry hooked up to? Orlando Bloom. That's right, Orlando Bloom. Hooked up with Orlando Bloom these days. And they have a child, they produced a child named Daisy. Daisy. Her name is Daisy Blue. It's an oddball name. Celebrities do not name their kids John, Joe, Sally. No, they're always some oddball names, right? Okay. And now on your left side, this is Runyon Canyon Park, the entrance to it. You can go hiking. You can hike here from Mulholland Drive down to Hollywood. Back up again, it's like 25 minutes in each direction. Let me know if you want me to drive faster around these curves and turns. Are we okay at this speed? Why a crowd back here? <laughs> Very docile. On your left, about 10 miles out, you can see the coastline is kind of fogged in over Santa Monica. If it was clear, you would see the ocean pretty clearly, and then you'd see also ships at sea, but kind of foggy today over the coastline at Santa Monica and Venice Beach. So you're in the Hollywood Hills. You're part of the Santa Monica Mountain Range. This home on the left was featured in a famous special effects scene from a 1989 movie called Lethal Weapon 2. Starred Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. This is where the bad guys of South Africans were in the movie in this house. They filmed interior shots inside the house. But there is a scene where, they, where Mel Gibson shows up with his vehicle and he hooks a cable between the vehicle and the back of the home and he rips it down the hill with the bad guys in it. Anyone here ever seen that movie? pretty famous, Lethal Weapon 2. So this is the home they used. The home is still standing. They built a replica of the back of the house used for that scene when they tear it down. I took of Jay Leno here at this intersection a little while back. Caught Jay Leno. He just had honked and waved to us. He's really, really, really nice. 
Always driving a different car, you know him from Jay's Garage on CNBC, former host of the Tonight Show, now hosted by Jimmy Fallon. You look up the street to your right, the house at the top is owned by director Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino lives there. He's the director of Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained, Kill Bill movies. Also, once upon a time in Hollywood, and then he worked by him. There's a house that's owned and lived in by a married acting couple. Their names are Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher. Do you know who they are? Yes. They look like this. Sasha Baron Cohen oh, yeah. and Isla Fisher here to your left. Sasha Baron Cohen played Ali G on TV. Starred in the movie, the Borat movies also. Have you ever watched Borat? It's a nice house, very nice. His wife is Isla Fisher from Australia. Star of The Wedding Crashers, Confessions of a Shopaholic, and other comics. Sometimes we get lucky on the tour, going out a house like that, and they happen to be driving out as a pointing. Just dumb luck and timing. Their neighbor next door on the left, Brown Gates, Yellow House, this belongs to Drew Carey. Oh. Drew Carey, the host of the Price is Right game show. The Drew Carey Show. Whose line is it anyway that goes it as well? We all know who Drew Carey is, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if Drew Carey's big in Jordan, but he's famous over here, that's for sure. You guys know how he bought this property? He bought it because the price was right. <laughs> Bad time, they're on their way. Okay, now look to your right. Here comes the northern section of the city of Los Angeles. This is known as the San Fernando Valley or sometimes just known as the valley. It's where the term valley girl was born. And phrases like for sure and totally. Gag me with a spoon, I'll come to the valley. So if you look to your right, that is Universal Studios Hollywood, down below on the right. Universal Studios, Hogwarts Castle rising up from the center of the studios. Behind the castle, you'll see sound stages at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, behind it, the Disney Studios. Three major studios back to back to back. So a lot of entertainment content has come from the Orville area over the last hundred years. On your left side, just over the fence line, see that tow-way no stopping sign? If you look above it, you'll see a house with a red Spanish tile roof. Halfway up that home belongs to Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, his actress wife, Jessica Biel, and their children. Right above the sign, halfway up the hill. Any JT fans on board? Yes. All right. You want to be dropped off? Yes. What if, it, what if his wife is home? I don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't care. Well, after the tour, here's what you do. You make a left on this next street, Torreson Drive. You go to the end of the street. That's where Justin Timberlake's house is. But if you step on the driveway, his guard comes flying out of the guard shack and he's carrying a weapon. So I don't think you want to do that. He's packed. Now there are animals up here in the mountains. Some of the wildlife you may come across can include rabbits, deer, coyotes, squirrels, possums. 
bobcats, and even mountain lions are all part of the Santa Monica Mountains. Mountain lions also know by the term pumas or cougars. Up here we have the four-legged variety of the cougar as well as the two-legged variety. So if you look to the right, you're looking out towards Universal Studios. There are two mountain ranges in the background. The Verdugo Mountains are the lower range in front. The San Gabriel Mountains, the taller one, in the back. Some of the peaks of the San Gabriel Mountains rise to about 5,000 feet above sea level. It'll snow up in those mountains in the winter. But nowhere on our tour route does it ever get down to freezing or snow, ever. Okay, let me show you something as an example which you really can't see from our view. See the house on the right? All you see is the very top of a house hanging over the side. They get a great view of the valley until the next major earthquake. Then they might get a face-to-face -face view. So you might wonder what's underneath the roof. Here's a picture I found on the internet of that house when it was up for sale. It was up for sale for $10.7 million. That's what's under the roof. It has five bedrooms and ten bathrooms. That means you never have to wait in line. That's what you can't see when you're driving here. Don't be a hater now. Here's another house hanging over the sides here, right? <laughs> Looking over the center of the valley. Communities like Van Nuys, North Hollywood, Studio City, Encino, Tarzana, Northridge, and Port, all communities of the valley. Making up the northern sector of Los Angeles. On your left, check out how steep this hill is. Every day it runs all the way down onto the street. In the winter, if it rains a lot in a short amount of time, it can create a mudslide. And then you get a debris flow. Debris like rocks, mud, trees, Kardashians, all kinds of different things. <laughs> Tough drive back here. Yeah, they've had to close the street up before there's been mudslides. Situated. This was Bruno Mars's house. He moved away because he got people. He got tired of people like me <laughs> driving by all day long, pointing at his property. That has to become annoying, right? So he moved. He moved down and they can't get in front of us. It certainly lives on a street that you can't, you can't possibly include on it.
Yeah. If you look down to your right, and there's a canyon called Fryman Canyon with hiking trails. A few years ago, Silva got a picture of Miley Cyrus walking with her father, Billy Ray, on one of the trails. That picture he took, uploaded to the internet, that's how we know that they were there. If you look to your left, top of the hill, you see a flat roof green glass house right up there. Flat roof green glass. That's a now a former house of Pharrell Williams. Guys, name is Pharrell Williams. What famous song did he record? Happy. 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 <laughs> happy, just like all of you are right now. If you're not happy, you're just happy. Straight across the White House with the gray roof and the white umbrella. The house straight across is his home. He bought it for $21 million in 2019. Now, before he lived there, was the home to Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, who got married on the property, then moved and got divorced. J-Lo and Mark Anthony sold the house to Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rosdale, her husband at the time. You know Gwen Stefani's, right? Lead yeah. singer of the L.A. band, no doubt judge on the voice and then it was sold to Sebastian Maniscalco here's a picture of the house from above it's an overhead view now you can see what you really can't see from our vantage point so uh, these houses are just gigantic getting jealous yet yes <laughs> tour is working perfectly then you're getting jealous tour is working I'm going to point out a few more private neighborhoods in just a moment I'll come away from here This moment, I don't know anyone famous living back there, but Mariah Carey, a few years ago, was renting a property, paying $35,000 a month in rent. Also, um, John Stamos lived there for a while. John Stamos was one of the stars of the Clubhouse. He eventually got remarried and moved out of the area. And then, on the left side, down below, on the opposite side, in the canyon, a private neighborhood created also called the Hidden Valley Estates, which is full of a lot of celebrities. This one little neighborhood down below is chock full of celebrities. 
including Katy Perry, who moved there from the house I showed you earlier, actress Jennifer Lawrence, Zoe Saldana, Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem. Cole Richie lives down there. So does Cameron Diaz, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, and singer Adele. Adele has three homes down below. First she bought one house. What's the first thing Adele said to her neighbors after she moved in? Hello. Oh, of course. <laughs> Hello from the other side of the wall, right? And then when she got divorced, she bought the home across the street from her. So her ex-husband could live there and they could have custody of their daughter. This year she bought a third house in the same neighborhood. So I'm going to show you a, a picture even though you won't be able to see much. See all the red designations? Those are all pointing at houses in that one neighborhood of famous people. It's called the Hidden Valley Estates. Crazy. So you can be doing your morning walk and just seeing a bunch of celebrities on the same street. Anyway, it's game. We can't get into Now, if you look also to your left, look across the canyon about one mile. And just a bit lower than we are at elevation. You see those gigantic mansions over there? Huge mansions across the canyon. That's called Beverly Park. The most exclusive and expensive neighborhood behind Gates in Los Angeles. Home to Dentel Washington, Rod Stewart, Sylvester Stallone, some of the real housewives, Americans families, Steve Harvey lives there, Vanna White for Wheel of Fortune, Magic Johnson, Mark Wahlberg, just tons of famous people. Reba McIntyre, straight across from us. Each house at least 20,000 square feet in size or larger. And then to your immediate left, see those mansions going up the hill, sliding down the hill to our left over here, they go up the hill, that's called the Beverly Ridge Estates. Tyler Perry moved from there a few years ago, but he kept the home, and last year he rented it to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They lived there for just a few months. They learned quickly that the paparazzi can fly drones above their neighborhood and above their house. They couldn't get any privacy. So they moved up to Santa Barbara and a sit down with Oprah Winfrey and the rest of his history. So if you look to your left, you can see that neighborhood called the Beverly Ridge Estates. And right below us would be the Hidden Valley Estates. They're all private neighborhoods for the little people like us.
trees just changed up. You should all fight the trees. Don't get used to them because palm trees are on their way on Beverly Drive. Here on the right, this corner property was a one time home of rapper Bow Wow. Featured on MTV's Cribs TV series. Bow Wow. He's not barking much these days. I have a rapper as a neighbor now. I have a rapper who moved in across the street from me. My neighborhood. I'm not sure if you ever heard of her. Her name is Snow the Potter. I've never heard of Snow the Potter. She's playing in Philadelphia tonight. Anyway, she has a rapper as a neighbor. She may be kind of nervous, but she's been up there. to 86-year-old senior Pat Boone. Pat Boone was very famous in the 1950s and 60s. We're going to turn on to Sunset Boulevard, so we just dropped 750 feet of elevation. You guys survived. His neighbor on the right was Lucille Ball, star of the old I Love Lucy TV shows of the early 1950s. She lived there for the last 30 years of her life, probably the greatest American TV comedian of all time. So pick out your future dream job. That's your job. They just took down a house right in front of us. There was a house here last week gone. Demolished it. So something big will replace it a few years from now, that's for sure. We're in Beverly Hills 
here, but when we cross the intersection, we pass back into Los Angeles, into a neighborhood called Holy Hills. Three of the greatest singers of all time live on this street, but at different times, draw dead now. Including, first on your left, those orange cones are in the second driveway. This used to belong to Frank Sinatra, known as the chairman of the board, or Old Blue Eyes. Frank Sinatra lived here with his then-wife actress, Mia Farrow. Now, at a different point in time, the property on the right, which is difficult to see, was the home of the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Elvis lived right here. He eventually died in 1977 in Memphis, Tennessee, at Graceland Mansion. Now, because he was not only a singer, he was an actor. He spent a lot of time in Southern California making movies. And then the third singer, who died more recently, lived in the house on the left. He moved in in December of 2008. And after living here for six months, he died on June the 25th, 2009, in one of the second floor bedrooms. His name was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, lived here for half a year, 12 years ago. His doctor, Conrad Murray, was found guilty at trial, convicted of involuntary manslaughter, for giving him and not monitoring the fatal dose of propofol. Now, Michael was in town to rehearse with his band for the upcoming This Is It. That was to begin in July 2009 in London. He died two weeks before they were to leave for London. So This Is It became That Was That. Never got underway. As you pull around the corner here, the gates on the left, and these are the gates which opened up the day Michael Jackson died. The ambulance carried him away from this property to UCLA's medical center. He was pronounced dead on arrival. So this is where the king of pop pop. Too soon? It's been 12 years. You guys having a good time so far? Yeah. Am I talking too much? Yeah. Finding it interesting? Yeah. Keep on talking. Sunset Boulevard, it is very big. It's very long, 22 miles long. Situated between downtown LA, behind this, and the Pacific Ocean. Pretty big neighborhood, Ballet, Ballet. It takes you from 
Sunset Boulevard behind us, all the way back up to the top of the hill to uh, Mulholland Drive. We're not going to go that far, though. We'll stay down low, do a little bit of a circle, and then come back out the same way. Looks like the gardeners are taking a rest. Should I say hi to them? Watch this. <laughs> like this on the right in front of your driveways? Yeah. Just check it. Now they have two gates, right? Because these people, like, they don't back out the driveway. They go in one driveway, and they come out the other one with a companion set of gates. It's called a circle drive. A lot of the homes here have that. trash cans on the left. Like seriously? Who can create that much trash? Is that crazy? It must be eaten into recycling. A lot of blue cans. Now if you didn't think those gates I pointed out were impressive enough, how about these on the right? Look at these things. You can't buy this at Home Depot. Not even from the special order desk. Crazy. And again, there's a companion set of gates coming up. There you go. These gates could be worth more than some of your properties. Now, the next uh, mansion coming up has some good pop culture history attached to it. In 1964, the Beatles came to Los Angeles. They played at the Hollywood Bowl. That's the place we uh, passed earlier where her is going to be tonight. And they didn't stay at a hotel. They rented this property for three days. And that's when this picture was taken of the four Beatles posing on the back lawn at this house, August 1964. Now, how cool is that? The bad for the Beatles. More recently, the home was lived in by Dr. Ray, a Brazilian doctor known also as Dr. 90210 from the reality series. I'm going to point out a property and show you a house, a multi-level property that was sold for $88 million in 2017. And that was the most expensive residential sale in Los Angeles for that year. The home features not one, not two, but four swimming pools. Like what? So the couple that bought it still live there today. If you look to the right up this driveway, not the home connected to it. It's the White House of Leather. The cypress trees. And the couple who bought it who still live there are named Beyonce and Jay-Z. That's Beyonce's house on top of the hill. The beehive. At least one of the beehives. I think she has a lot of beehives. Here's what it looks like from above. Oh my god. Can't tell from here that it looks like that, right? Beyonce, Jay-Z, their kids, the pools, the whole thing. And now you know where to stalk her later on if she's still. You can always uh, move into the home on your left. Stand on one of those second floor balconies and yell out to Beyonce, Hey babe, how's it going today? I'll show you a little bit more of Bel Air then we'll pop out of here. growing in it. That's obvious. But on the left side, it's fake. Artificial turf. So you don't have to water it, weed it, or mow it, or seed it. Real and not real. Up the driveway to your left, a home with a name. It's called West Haven. West Haven, owned by Rick and Kathy Hilton of the Hilton Hotel family. They have a daughter named Paris. You might have heard of her. Paris Hilton's parents live right here. And the Hilton Hotel family. And then the 
brick house on the right has a good celebrity lineage to it. At one time, this is where Dean Martin lived. After that, singer Tom Jones lived here. And more recently, actor Nicolas Cage lived at this home. Nicolas Cage is also a graduate of Beverly Hills High School. Are you guys jealous yet? Yeah. Good. Let me make sure. Imagine if you live at the home on the left coming up, right over here. I don't know who lives there, but look up the driveway. Imagine you're welcoming your guests. You're going to meet them at the front door. Check out that entryway. Pretty awesome, right? Come on in, we made some changes. Let me show you around. On the right, this property belongs to George Lucas. George Lucas, the creator, writer, director, producer of Star Wars films. His main house is called the Skywalker Ranch, but that's located in a county far, far away from here. It's in Marin County, north of San Francisco. This home on the left was purchased for over $20 million several years ago. Former house of actor Richard Gere. Before that, Ryan Wilson, founder of the Beach Boys group. And whoever bought it decided they didn't like the original house, so they started just gutting it out from the inside out. But that is one huge mansion over there. Then up this driveway to your left, this was used in scenes of a movie called 9 to 5, former house of Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston here on the left side. So no matter what street you drive on in Bel Air, there's always going to be some famous people who have lived in one of these properties. This many cars that we're trying to get out when we got in here. Now we're going to have to wait a few minutes. Probably a couple of traffic lights until we can cross over Sunset. This is as far west as we're going in the tour. We'll be heading south and then eventually east onto Wilshire Boulevard. Well, Everyone did okay back there? We all did? Mm -hmm. Alright. Not bad to be sitting under the trees here, huh? Mm. Oh, you're a yawn. You're not bored though, right? You're just tired. spent hours and hours just in the Bel Air neighborhood, but there's more to show you. I'm going to squeeze in as much as I can for you in just a couple of hours. Stop texting. So it'll be about two minutes, two and a half minutes, till we uh, get our green light and get through and out of here. You can make a right turn on the next street, Sunset Boulevard, and west in about half an hour.
Simpson, we go now on the right at the corner. This is LA Fire Station number 71. They are the people who were dispatched to the Michael Jackson Rental Mansion the day he died. They worked on it for 45 minutes, but they couldn't revive him. same angle as the picture I'm going to show you right now. This is what it looks like from above. 56,500 square feet of living space. 123 rooms including 14 bedrooms and 27 bathrooms. Got a bowling alley, an indoor pool, outdoor pool, and a movie theater. Sold twice since it was built. The last time it was sold, it sold for a 119 million. Here's the back of it. It's like living in a Costco. That's how big this thing is. So that's the spelling mansion on the left. Is that a dog? Is that a dog this guy has in his hand on the left? What is that? Oh my god. That dog is probably richer than us. Go around the park, head down to Wilshire Boulevard. Now, on the other side of the fence to your left lies the Los Angeles Country Club. It's a private country club. It contains two golf courses. In a few years, it will host the U.S. Open Tournament, one of the four major tournaments in professional golf. Okay, we're turning on to Wilshire Boulevard. Make the right turn at four miles west, and you'll be at the Pacific Ocean in Santa Monica. See the building on the right? Beverly West Tower, the top floor owned by the singer known as The Weeknd. The very top of this building, called the Beverly West Tower. It's pretty rare we ever get that green light. I wasn't expecting that. If you look to your right side, in the background there, you'll see a bunch of big buildings rising up. That's called Century City. It's like downtown LA.
trademark shield of the city. We're going to drive right over a famous shopping street called Rodeo Drive. Have you heard of that? It's more famous back in the day. But, you know, these days, some of the stories you can find on Rodeo, you can also find in an upscale shopping mall somewhere around the country. So I'll point it out to you as we drive over Rodeo. <coughs> Beverly Drive is also expensive to shop on. 
Now they have restaurants here, so you can actually have a meal on Beverly, but no restaurants on Monday. In a minute, we're going to turn on to Santa Monica Boulevard, and you'll see the biggest of all Beverly Hills signs. Beverly Hills behind. We're taking our way out of the city of Beverly Hills and going into the city of West Hollywood. Remember Hollywood, not the city part of LA. West Hollywood is its own city. And we're going to enter it in just a minute and continue heading east.
If you're a fan of uh, Elton John, if you look on the left, there's the Troubadour nightclub in white letters. This is where Elton John played his first live show in 19, his first live show in the U.S. in 1970. You've entered the city of West Hollywood. It is a gay pride city. LGBTQ and all the other letters. All represented here. really busy here. This is a very popular block of restaurants and bars. So later on on a Friday night, very, very busy. international 
And a lot of new construction. Some of the older businesses have been ripped down to make room for newer projects. A lot of new hotels have gone up too. And on your left, above the Hollywood Hills, above the sunset is the Hollywood Hills. We're way up there behind all these houses earlier in the tour.
Look at that gigantic house on the left, up, halfway up the hill, under construction. Look at the size of that thing. Imagine how it must cost just to put the foundation there. Now, if you make a right turn at the next street, Fairfax Avenue, go south for a mile, you reach the farmer's market. Farmer's Market is pretty famous. It's an LA landmark. It's been around since 1934. Dozens of ethnic restaurants choose from the Avenue. It's right down the street, one mile to the south. And it's connected to the 12 October shopping mall. Very tremendous. Now, Fairfax See that house? I mean, see that uh, building that says Michael Jackson Auditorium? This is Gardner Street School. Michael Jackson attended this school in the sixth grade as an 11 year old. And that's when this picture was taken. Well, this picture was taken afterwards. It was brought back in 1989 as the reigning king of pop, and they named the auditorium for him. Former student Michael Jackson. In this picture, he's the guy in the red jacket. I didn't know that, Alan. Michael Jackson attended the school for just one year, and eventually he never returned back to a public school. Again. back up the Hollywood Boulevard and then make a turn onto it and head back towards where we started. Now this part of Hollywood Boulevard is zoned 
residential means you can live on this street in a house or an apartment, which is clearly because your mailing address would then read Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood, California. In a few blocks, we'll turn back into the commercial zone. Where the sidewalks will once again have stars on them. With the name of We're going to see four silver ladies holding up a structure known as the gateway to the Hollywood Walk of Fame is going to be coming up here in a minute. From there you can start walking and see all 2,699 stars over a distance of three miles. So that's coming up here in just a second. Going to the other lane. Okay, if you look in the corner, those four silver ladies and gave into the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the two stars on the ground, people are taking pictures of them, belong to the Beatles and Elvis Presley. So out of the residential zone and into the commercial zone again.
most importantly, we made it back here in one piece. So give me one moment here. All right, that was pretty awesome.